Fall is in full swing and it's a beautiful time of the year when the world transforms and your fragrance wardrobe should transform as well. Join me on a journey through fragrances that I handpicked for you and that will capture your heart this season. Before we dive into it, I have great news for you. A sample set with all perfumes selected by me for this episode is already put together and waiting for you to be purchased at Centrique. You can find the link in the description below. Centrique and I will also run a giveaway in the next few days and three lucky winners will get my fall fragrance sample set for free. So make sure to follow both myself, Stinky Teacher, and Centrique on our social media. Let's get to it. I wanted to start with a fragrance that demonstrates that your perfume choice for fall should not necessarily be bluntly warming or spicy, or anything of that nature really. You can still use scents with that cooling, elegant character and feel very comfortable in them, even during winter. So here I have Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks. First off, Silky Woods is sitting on a very warm, comfy base. Think saffron, think soft suede, think cinnamon, tobacco, vanilla. Yes, literally all of them favorite ingredients for a cold season, powdery, vanilla, woody fragrance. But it's not that simple. Not that simple. The overall experience that this perfume brings to me personally is rather chilly. Enormously luxurious, enormously elegant, but it's not a snuggly type of scent. There is a reason why it's cold the way it's cold. It's not cashmere woods, it's not velvety woods, it's silky woods, silk chat, the one fabric type that is always cold to touch. And I think it might be a floral accord that is responsible for that. Ylang Lang and Jasmine, floral-ish makes silky woods what I like to call unattainable beauty. So something you admire, desire, but even when it's this close to you, you still can't touch it, you can't feel it. True lady, true gentleman is this fragrance. Silky Woods is 100% unisex fragrance with a great projection, amazing longevity. Yes, this baby will last for a while on your skin and it really will elevate your appearance with a gorgeous and very classy fragrance cloud. That's all you need this fall. If I was to choose, this probably would be my number one. It's an incredibly interesting fragrance, also unisex, but I must admit that according to some of the feedback that I got, it's masculine leaning. To me, it's unisex. The biggest asset of Rehab from Anitio is its complexity, which is borderline chaotic. And I love fragrances that confuse me, and this is certainly one of the best examples of that. Rehab to me has three sides to it and as you're wearing it, it reveals them one by one in an absolutely random, non-linear way. So side number one is a sweet and dry tobacco leaves. Absolutely unexpected looking at the pyramid of this fragrance, but I can guarantee you that once you smell it, it will send you in the Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla direction. Side number two a calming, aromatic, green, and slightly spicy. Now, this makes perfect sense. If you look at the notes, you will get the lavender, you will hear the patchouli and the gayak wood. And side number three, classic Inizio musk, which I find extremely appealing. It's clean skin, it's delicate, and it's slightly milky sweet. Rehab is a perfect name for this scent because eventually all nuances that sort of like dance on your skin and in the sillage in the most confusing and chaotic way will finally come together and form such a therapeutic, relaxing, intoxicating scent that sort of wraps around you like a warm yet gorgeous cloud. I'm choosing my next fragrance to play a contrast game. Because as much as ambers and soft woods are great for fall, sometimes we need that powerhouse of a fragrance. This one is for the moments when you don't stay inside cuddling with a fluffy blanket. 
but rather you go out, you continue chasing your dreams, you continue being the boss of your life no matter what season. Oh yeah! More Than Words is a rose and oud fragrance. It's a very popular profile these days and every other big luxury and niche brand will attempt at least one of them in their collection. But why am I choosing this particular one today? I'm choosing it for the most gorgeous, glossy, sweet and aromatic, candy-like nuance that it has in heart. More Than Words might seem a little too heavy in the opening, but in the dry down it has a beautiful floral amber accord, very soft one and with a bit of a sour cherry note. It's actually so balanced that I almost want to call it fresh. Of course, not from the classic standpoint, obviously, but from the perspective of an oud fragrance. It really empowers you. And let's admit it, let's be honest, you need one of those power boosters during fall. At least I do. I once heard a great analogy that a lambar smells like a dining hall in Hogwarts. The venue that is very cold on its own with dim lights and mysterious creepy energy but as soon as children enter the room everything changes and the place gets filled with endless talking kids laughter with the smell of yummy food what did they have butter beer and pumpkin pudding so it really turns into a place of innocent happiness and safety and that's what alambar can be for you this fall Alambar is an amber fragrance with amber accord in top notes, in heart, and in base. Sweet, but not desserty. Slightly smoky, slightly balsamic. In the first 10 to 15 minutes, I'm also picking up on warm, spicy cinnamon and, of course, the sweet chocolate notes. You check this fragrance on Fragrantica, and the first thing you notice people say about it Oh, it's a powdery, woody, vanilla perfume. And oh man, how wrong is this statement? To me, it's a non-gourmand, sweet but clean and fruity. Poets of Berlin, for me, first and foremost, is about the smell of oversteeped black tea with its distinct bitter and sweet nuances. In fact, you know when I smell Poets of Berlin the most? When I open up a brand new bag of black tea leaves, with dried berries mixed in it. This fragrance features blueberries in the top notes and it sits on a soft creamy sandalwood base. And yes, over time it goes from slightly bitter to slightly powdery, but it's a bright, feminine leaning, not overly complex, but tasty and cozy fragrance, which is perfect for a chilly and sunny Sunday. When choosing a fragrance wardrobe for the fall season, it is very important to have a few options that don't have a huge meaning behind them. And all they do is simply satisfy your soul. They don't need to be complex, they don't need to be sophisticated or loud or anything like that. All they have to do is give you a boost of serotonin and make you feel like the way you feel after eating a slice of chocolate cake, for example. So here is my serotonin. Lait et chocolat from Chabot. A super realistic chocolate milk. We can dig into the scent and tear it apart, finding various nuances. For example, I know that on my skin it's not too sweet, it's quite lactonic, majorly vanilla, and instead of a chocolate bar, I'm getting something more like cocoa powder, meaning that this fragrance on my skin opens up slightly dustier and drier. But honestly, you really don't want to do what I just did. Because at the end of the day, it's a chocolate milk mono fragrance. Wear it for a stroll around the city. Use it as a home fragrance. I even spray it on my curtains sometimes. Simple, delightful, straight to the point, feel good olfactory dessert. I think today's selection is a great example showing that your perfume style during fall season can be very different. It can evoke all the warmth, all the comfort and nostalgia, but it can also stay elegantly cold, charismatic and sophisticated. 
Don't forget that I prepared a sample set for you with all fragrances from today's video. You can click on the link in the description to purchase it. Also, don't forget to follow both myself, your stinky teacher, and Centrique on Instagram, where just in a few days, we will run a giveaway. You can be one of the three lucky participants to get my full fragrance sample set for free, along with some other gifts. Please make our day, like this video, and hit the subscribe button, so you'll always be a part of our fragrance family. As always, thank you for watching, and see you very, very soon.